Welcome back to another tutorial guys, it is Toaf Tech. So, I know it's been a while, but I actually just got some really great information from a uh, person who follows me on Google Plus, I think they do anyway, I don't know how Google Plus works. Um, wrong tab. But uh, yeah, they commented on one of my videos, luckily, and um, well, they solved the issue. It's the gravity pulling the character down when you're traveling across the x-axis, and essentially what it's doing is uh, I'll show you visually here. This is not what I need. Sorry, I have a lot of programs open right now. If we play the game, essentially what used to happen was, uh, if I move the character over, what hap used to happen was it, gravity was pulling it straight down, so even if it tried moving sideways, it was essentially adding the two vectors together where the downward force was greater than the sideways force, thus forcing it down and not sideways at all because the force is too great. Now then, they did show me, however, um, this little article here. And I know no one really likes reading documentation, but it's, it's okay. Uh, I read it for you guys, so you don't need to. And it explains in detail uh, why it happens and how to fix it. So I am going to show you. Essentially what I did is, uh, this is just straight from the uh, the page, uh, you add this code in. So you have this new variable called, or it's not a new variable, you have the motion variable which is velocity multiplied by delta, which was explained in previous videos. Uh, but now you're making it also equal to uh, this, this method here. And it comes in handy because when you, when you um, want to check for the motion to see if it's downwards or sideways, this will help. So essentially you're going to check for if it is colliding and if the function is colliding it is part of the kinematics body 2D. So essentially because we have that extended we can use it here within the if statement. So we're going to first of all check if it is colliding and we don't have to ask it if it's true or false. Basically if you leave it as it is, if is colliding, it's essentially going to say if this is true. With uh, It doesn't matter which kind of method you use, like an if for a while or something. Um, if you just put something in there like that, it's a boolean thing. Um, so example, is colliding, is is typically uh, how you state something is a boolean value, either true or false. So it's essentially saying if this is true. What we're going to do is the following code. We're going to have a variable called n, which I'll probably change later. And that's just to, just to get the collision normal. And the collision normal is essentially, if we go to our 3D view, 2D view, it's finding which way uh, the normal or the direction this is facing. So right now the, the direction is down. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to point that out. Um, but just imagine there's an arrow pointing down. That is the normal. Um, there's actually normals pointing every which way. It's pointing outwards because of the collision. If it was pointing inwards, you would get some really, really weird stuff happening. But uh, yeah, everything, all the normals are pointing outwards, so it's essentially going to say like an arrow here, 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 for whenever it's colliding with something. So it's going to get that collision normal. And then we're going to use that, that variable, it's, it's stored in N. We're going to take the motion and set it to the collision normal slide. So it just says n.slide, but you can imagine this as getting the collision normal and then sliding it and then it takes in a parameter as to where it's sliding. It's sliding according to the motion, which is just essentially which way you tell it to go, which is the velocity for how many pixels a second. And next we also take the, uh, sorry I'm kind of explaining this really slowly. Uh, you're taking the velocity and also setting it to that, but instead of putting in motion, you're just putting in velocity. This way it, it knows which way it's heading and it knows what speed to go, one for motion, one for velocity, which is heading and speed. And then you have to move it, it moves according to motion, which is left to right, whichever way you set it to move. Um, so I hope that makes sense, and it does actually work. So if we play the game, and we move with the arrow keys, you can see it moves. Now it doesn't have any deceleration, so the movement isn't as realistic as it could be. Uh, but that is something we can change, which we will change in a future video. I just wanted to quickly go ahead and explain this. And once again, um, big thanks to uh, Griftonat. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. 
very, very helpful. Really glad that uh, even after two months, someone still looked at the video and was like, hey, I could solve this. That's great. Um, hoping more of you guys can uh, kind of join in on that and maybe even suggest some videos, which actually I believe someone, um, they did mention a video if I remember correctly. Let's wait for it to load up here. Yes, uh, right here, 2D games, something like Mario or Dolphin Island may aimed more on interaction with objects, um, which I think would be very, very interesting. Um, if anybody else really hopes for videos like that, just leave us something in the comments below on any specifics you kind of want to know, and I'll make sure to add that to my upcoming list of videos to produce. Um, I'm working like six days a week now, usually like anywhere from eight to 14 hours. So it is difficult to get videos in, but uh, I have mostly night shifts now. So I'll try to get them in within the daytime, hopefully. I'll try to do another one tomorrow if all goes well. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.